only last September that the emerald was put in commission. With Monsieur Pierre Coe, the French air minister, among her first passengers. The pride of the French civil air service, she was capable of very high speeds and had started on a career of record breaking. Now she lies a tragic wreck in battered remnants, adding another to the recent air disasters which have taken their terrible toll of human life. The cause of the catastrophe is still under conjecture, the first report of collision with a pylon being inaccurate. The accident is thought to have been due to the formation of ice on the wings of the machine during its flight through the wind and cold. The airliner left Saigon on January the 5th in an attempt to make a record flight to Paris. But misfortune dogged it from the outset. It was the pride of the Air France line and was claimed to be the fastest commercial aeroplane in Europe, being capable of a top speed of nearly 200 miles an hour. Its three engines totaled 2,100 horsepower and it had a range of 1,200 miles. Among the first to hurry to the scene of the wreck, 125 miles from Paris, on a hillside near Corbigny, is Monsieur Pierre Coe, the air minister, who had watched the first flight of the Emerald with such splendid pride a few months earlier. And in this sad fatality, which involved the death of nine people, including the Governor-General of Indochina, 